Hey Virgo, welcome back. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. I'm gonna do an, a love reading for you. If you are new, please smash that love that love button. Smash the love button. <laughs> Should be a love button. Uh, smash the like button and subscribe if you enjoy the readings. This is going to be, let's see, for the rest of October, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Personal link is in the uh, personal personal reading link is in the description box below. I do have October specials running for the next 10 days. So go ahead and pick up your personal reading with me. Highly discounted. All right, Virgo, let's get into this. Welcome back everyone in the chat. Hey, Mods, how's it going? Okay. All right, let's get started here. Oh, Twin Flame. Okay. Can already see where this is going to go, right, Virgo? take a look all right relationship evolving to the next phase healing the inner child growth you have girl talk some time with friends maybe moving on being single living in the present at like virgo looks like you're getting away from a twin flame relationship or maybe that's what you thought it was um where you thought you that this person was the yin to your yang Okay, in theory, yang. Let's take a look. You're having some conversation. Oh, okay. No, this person. This was like you had the Grim Reaper in your life. I'm not even kidding. They were a false twin flame. Yeah. I mean, come on. No second chances, Virgo. You're done. This relationship is over, and you are like, uh, bye bye. You are out. You don't want this person back. Yep, you've got separation here. Somebody, well, they're sad. Okay. <laughs> they're missing you, Virgo. Just say no. This person is thinking about you. They don't know what to make of the future. If there is a future with you. Okay, but no, Virgo. It looks like you're 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 just it looks like you're done. You got what you needed, Virgo. <laughs> At least you thought you're moving on. Maybe some closer is closure issues. But you are moving forward. But I also feel like this person's sad about that. Okay, well, they're missing you right now. Okay, so if you ended something with someone or, you know, whatever might have happened to a relationship here because this person was showing up like the freaking Grim Reaper. Um... Yeah, they're, they're like, they're not happy about this. Whoever, we'll see who it is. Okay, Virgo, we'll see who this is. Who is this person to Virgo? Okay, so, hmm, let's see. Could be an air sign. This person is, like, stressing out because you wouldn't take their itty-bitty little breadcrumbs. Yep, that's the deal. You would not take their little itty-bitty breadcrumbs. They're, um, instead of, like... They really weren't valuing you, or they did put you on some kind of a pedestal, but I don't know, Virgo. They weren't treating you like top shelf, and you deserve to be treated that way, okay? So, whatever. They're stressing about that. They're stressing because you wouldn't take the breadcrumb that they offered. Could be another earth sign. Let me see. Oh, it's, it's a water sign. King of Cups. Masculine, feminine, energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, so this person was like bare minimum. They didn't bring in, there was no Ace of Pentacles. There was no Wheel of Fortune. It wasn't a Ten of Pentacles that this person was offering. They were offering a page. It's a very immature energy. And they're stressing about why you wouldn't accept that. Why? Why do you need to have more from me, Virgo? Why? Why isn't this good enough? I need to save the rest for myself. Why wasn't that... Wasn't it or isn't it good enough for you, Virgo? Looking at you like maybe you're kind of selfish because you wanted more, which is just basically like not being greedy, but like the bare minimum not being enough. Who can survive on breadcrumbs? Like you have to ration your, like, like you had to ration, you had like every little bit they give you, you have to save for a rainy day. Like what the F is that? Yeah, okay. This person should have been giving you their all, the Wheel of Fortune. They should have been giving you everything because you know what? You freaking deserve that. You deserve that. 
Why wouldn't you? Why would you think you don't? I hope you don't because you deserve somebody's full attention, their full effort, not the bare minimum BS. Okay. <laughs> So now they're upset because you weren't, no, you, you were like, mm -mm, no. Yeah, Virgo, you wanted like the whole, you deserved it all. You wanted the, all your wishes, everything that you needed. Smorgasbord, because you deserve that. Okay, let me see what else is going on with this person. This person had plenty to give, let me tell you. But that wheel kept on turning here. And this is how they are currently. The wheel keeps turning, so they, they just keep doling out like a um, slot machine. People pull their trigger and they dole out some, and then somebody else comes along and they pull the lever and they dole out a little bit more. You know, that plenty where that came from, but they weren't giving you the full jackpot. Okay, and that's maybe what you wanted. And they, it looks like, feel like, or felt at least, like that should have been enough for you. That should have been, that little bit that I gave you, Virgo, that should have been the cornucopia. That should have been plenty for you. And they're stressing now because you ended it, wasn't good enough, you didn't want it. They have an anxiety, nightmares. That's so freaking controlling. Let me see. This person is extremely impulsive. Huh. You're the one that got away. I think other people get away, but I don't know here. Something about you, Virgo. Let me see. Why are you the one that got away? Because I feel like maybe there were other people. Okay, there you go. Look, it just popped right out. Okay, because this person, whoever your your water sign, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, this person, there was an, a, an emotional connection that they felt that they had with you that they didn't have with anybody else, okay? I don't know what kind of relationship you have with this person, Virgo, but this person... I feel like they breadcrumb to keep you there, but then, like, it's just a two, you know? The best they could do was maybe hold hands or toast have drinks together, but I'm, it's definitely an emotional connection that they felt that they had with you. And they do feel like there is a twin type, even if they don't fully know what it's about, they might, they feel that there's a, there was something there. They feel there was something there. Okay. And that's why you're the one that, that, you know, got away here. I guess maybe some hot, that, that Grim Reaper, you're a high energy source to this person. Look, but they're a liar. Virgo, this person is a liar. <clears throat> Seven of sorts. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't care if they have some kind of disorder or disease, doesn't matter. They're a liar. And you have to take care of you. You can't trust that. Okay, sneaking away, running away. This is their energy. They're always going to be this way. They're going to give just enough to make it feel like you're on some kind of a pedestal, but it's bare effort. It's minimum, bare minimum effort. And then, you know, they run away or they impulsively come towards you and then they pull their energy back. So, okay. I feel like you know what I'm talking about here. And I feel like that's what you walked away from. You walked away from someone who is just a shit stain. Do you remember the shit stain? <laughs> and I don't even feel like Virgo, you want this person to return with a bloody stump. And if you're new to my channel, you don't know what that means. That's pretty much like someone who's gonna cut off below the leg and hand it to you and hop on over and, you know, limp on over begging for you to return or to have you back. I don't feel like you are even willing to take that. I don't feel like you want this person back. Let me look at you here. Because they're stressing about the fact that you left or that you're going to leave. I think some of you, you might not have left yet. I'm just hearing. You might not have. You might be doing it though. You might be on the verge here. And I'm telling you, Virgo, if you take this person back, it's gonna be the same story. Same old situation, Virgo. All about their ego. They only care about winning. 
and winning you over. And then once once you fall for that, and once you get this, you know, back in, they get back into your good graces, then they're going to just continue on the path that they were on prior. Okay. So is this resonating for you, Virgo? You know what I'm talking about? They only care. They're competitive. They need a super amount of, they're saying, attention and crazy amount of attention. This is a reading. This is a reading. I'm telling you, there's the shadow. There's the devil. This is that dark energy with this person. They have this devil energy around them. And I don't see that this person, they got this dark, demonic shadow side to them where their ego, like the devil's whispering in their ear, you are the best. They might go around telling people that they're the best or that they're the greatest. It, and it, they're so insecure that they say that out loud to make themselves feel better or to try to put up a front. It's like a flex. Yeah. So let me see. What is this person? Like, what's their energy? Like, show Virgo more of why they're stressing. Because Virgo, we know you are not taking anything from them anymore. You don't want it. The relationship is over. You're finished. It's done for you. They're waiting. Oh my God. Virgo, this person is legit waiting to make a move here. And they're also, no, hold on. They're saying they're waiting for you to make a move towards them. <laughs> this almost feels like a threat. Like, hey, Virgo. As if they were to say to you, hey, Virgo, just so you know, I'm at the crossroads right now. And if you don't come back and you don't try to fix this or you don't show that you want me back and that you screwed up or you made a mistake, just so you know, I got my foot out the door. This almost feels like a threat. That's how effed up this person is. There's a sense of like entitlement here with the six of wands. Definitely a sense of entitlement. And I feel like it's because nobody calls them out or, or really like maybe everybody just falls for their facade or this hero mode. A lot of people do and you don't Virgo. You see right through, you see who they are. Or should I say you don't believe the facade? So they kind of have this threatening thing going on, I feel here with these three cards. It feels like nobody tells me no. That's their attitude. Nobody tells me no. Nobody challenges me. Everyone just agrees and falls in line. How dare you, Virgo? How dare you stand up to me? and challenge me. Okay, got the death card. We have Capricorn, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, <clears throat> Cancer, Pisces, uh, yeah, Pisces. Listen, Virgo, they're, they're in this, so right now they're in this, this mode of like, and I don't feel like you, you might know, maybe you have communication with them still, and they might be threatening you, like if you leave, you can't come back. Or they might just be giving off that energy. Like if you're not in communication with this person, there is an energetic thread that I feel like is still there. And some of you, because it shows up as a twin flame, some of you might have this, <clears throat> I wanna say, unspoken communication. And you might be feeling this already where this person is, They're, it's like they're channeling communication to you to, and, and, and I'm picking up on this. It's, it's, it's almost like I've tuned in on the radio to this. For you to get the message, Virgo, this feels like a threat. If you don't come back, you are never coming back again. If you don't even open that door a little, you're never going to be able to return in the future <laughs> because I love you and I love to abuse you. And I need to be able to do that because nobody 
has taken it from me as good as you. And listen, Virgo, it looks like you've turned the page. Gemini energy here. You have completely flipped a script. A script. You flipped the script. And I kind of feel like maybe this relationship was a challenge from the start. I, you know what? I just, I gotta say, there's two kinds of Virgos, okay? There are, there's a, there's a, a group of Virgos who can be vulnerable and can be, um, I don't want to say flaky, but tr um, gullible. That's the word. And then there's that other group of Virgos who are just like, eh. <laughs> the pendulum swings from one side to the other at times. And of course, then there's going to be some Virgos who have a little bit of both going on. But there is a side of you here, Virgo, that I, I and could be depending on your Chinese sign where I feel like you are very resilient and you, you push back. And at the same time, crazy as this might sound, they're so incredibly attracted to that pushback. And yet at the same time, it's toxic, you know? It feels like a toxic relationship here. It feels like a lot of push-pull. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I'm telling you, Virgo. As much as they, there's like this, I don't know if it's like this, you can't push me around. Oh, I'm going to push you around. I'm going to get my way. No, you're not. There's competition and a lot of uncertainty here. So right now, they think they have the upper hand. But actually, Virgo, if you've walked away and you don't want to come back and you're not coming back, you win. You win. So if there's any competition going on, Virgo, you are the you're the winner in this situation. That's what I see. And I know this is a tough reading. I don't know who this is for and why it's coming out, but when I saw the Twin Flame and then I saw the Grim Reaper and everything in between was about you taking flight and walking away, this feels like a karmic twin, like a, like a really difficult um, relationship. Now, for some of you, I know this might have already happened and I'm just kind of picking up on that past energy. You might have already gone through this. And you've been on your own. But I'm telling you now, no matter when this has happened, or even if it hasn't yet, this person, one thing I will show you, there's no regret. They have no regret. They have no remorse. Okay? They're missing you. Or they will be. And they want to try to get you back. But it's for control. That's what the Five of Swords is here. Not a good card to have in the love reading. Just going to keep it real here. This is like bullying. Emotional violence. Or an abusive relationship. Could even be like some threats. Or things like that. Just It feels just very unhealthy. So yeah, their energy is, you know, just to get you back in line. Because, I mean, listen, does this person, I, I don't know if they have the capability of love, but they definitely felt this connection with you. No one challenges this, them, except in walking away and maybe blocking or going no contact with this person makes you the winner in the end, because they're going to swoop back in. Yep. And initiate communication. Yep. Yep. Come back in and initiate some kind of communication with you, for sure, because you're not chasing. Virgo, I don't see you. <laughs> Virgo's like, get the hell out of here. Yep. Look at that. Ten of Wands. They're going to tell you if they try to talk to you or leave a message or somehow get a hold of you. I don't know how. Um, oh, I'm struggling. Things have been really tough. A lot of my shoulders... Even if there's ghosting energy, I've just been so busy. I've just been doing everything. Work has just been so exhausting. A lot of excuses, a lot of BS. I've been carrying this burden. I, f I feel so bad about 
not reaching out to you or you know everything I did it's like it's a bunch of BS it's a bunch of BS Virgo look at you you got this Empress energy right now this is amazing oh and that's even more so I'm telling you Virgo this person's like they're gonna re ide so I'm hearing idealization idealization they're gonna take you from that Queen of Pentacles to that Empress I feel like this reading is mostly for the ladies for the femmes sorry guys you could reverse it okay but it does it's pulling me towards the feminine um, this they're they're putting you like even higher on this pedestal because you walked away because you were like up this you're willing to walk away Taurus Libra energy or maybe a little bit of Libra but definitely Taurus um, finding you so attractive okay I'll commit okay I'll marry you but you got to come in you got to chase me you got to reach out if you don't reach out they're gonna reach out to you but I'm telling you they're, they're gonna surrender but but remember this person's a liar stay away that's what I'm hearing I'm not telling you to do that Virgo. you do it is best for you but I'm hearing stay away from this person This might be someone that you have a long distance relationship with. You're in two different worlds, but they're gonna say, I wanna bring you into my world, Virgo. I wanna bring you into my world. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm seeing things differently. I'm ready to start. I'm ready to have this new beginning with you. Look, here's your 10 of Pentacles, Virgo. I know you deserve that and I didn't give it to you and I didn't whether it's money or whether it's tangible things or whether it's just the security there here they are I know I didn't give that to you I know I should have I, I took advantage of that and I wasted our time and I could have done so much better and I'm ready to give you everything here I'll even buy you a house and I'll even fill it with family <laughs> and you can meet my parents and you can meet my grandparents and uh, come and meet my dog. Come and meet my grandbaby. Here's my kids. They want to meet you. Oh my god, it's like the whole nine yards. Yep, whipping up some masterful magic here and manipulation. Does this reading sound dark? Yeah, well, because it is. Because this person, they're absolutely heartbroken by you walking away. They feel betrayed. They feel stabbed in the heart. And somebody else that they may have been communicating with has done the same thing to them. You need to know this. Somebody else they may have been communicating with, uh, maybe in during separation, if you already separated, or they've had somebody lined up that they've been communicating with, has or will be um, doing this heartbreak thing. But that's why they're going to return to you because you're it for them one more please and Virgo's like the hell out of here you fool you're a fool you should have treated me better and treated me right when you had me there I mean sorry man like you miss your opportunity that's on you right not you Virgo I'm saying people who act like that they're just ungrateful that's what I feel like this energy is with this person completely ungrateful self-entitled very insecure hyperactive impulsive lying cheating perhaps just always chasing waterfalls with this person yep and the cycle goes around and around and around something ending and something beginning so here they they'll be back Virgo this person's gonna come back and they're gonna lay it on even thicker but it won't matter because you if you have them blocked or you're not talking to them you're not even gonna know it so they can talk until they're blue in the face right I just saw a water sign okay so there you go move on someone is unavailable a waste of time it's over so if you haven't done that yet and you've been considering here's a double message for you 
but if you've already moved on then this is just confirmation that the path that you're on now is that's right good you're on a good path there you go this person's a freaking liar listen i say listen this is how i feel it does not matter people lie for all kinds of reasons but the problem with lying even little lies put cracks in a bond it breaks trust period taking somebody back who's a liar or a pathological liar they're never going to be honest because it's their default system which means that they probably have some kind of trauma from their childhood or their, their when they were younger something might have happened to them it's not your problem you have to do what is best for you and if you aren't going to live your life the way you feel comfortable and happy and joyous and free whether that's on your own or with um good character type people like you got to surround yourself right with people who have good character that are not egotistical that are not driven to seek attention people who are just happy with who they are that whatever is behind the veil and who they are is better than who they pretend to be you know i get it listen i am not i'm not someone who likes to judge people because everybody has their psychological issues but those types of people when you surround yourself with them liars people who create these cycles these roller coaster these mixed feelings these in and out kind of energies they just like their ship is sinking and they're holding on to you as a life preserver because you're stable and you're regulating them but the the bottom line is the air is going to come out of your life preserver virgo eventually you're going to sink with the ship with this person because you're out there either you're trying to manage the relationship for them because they can't so you can stay with them i don't know what the deal is if you're still with this person you really need to consider if this is resonating for you and this sounds like the person you've been dealing with virgo it's going to be a really good move for you to get away from that that's that you're in bed with the devil you're in bed with with satan here <laughs> bottom line with evil yeah and, and so here that honeymoon see that's what gets you stuck Virgo that honeymoon is like a, it's like a love bombing kind of thing you know maybe this person's a narc I don't know or maybe they're unhealed BPD whatever their issue there's tons of stuff out there you know you, I'm sure you could just drag your finger down the DSM and you just land on anything and that's what it is I don't know I'm just looking at the very simple fact that this person lies and they lied to you but they even this whole honeymoon you know that honeymoon phase you go through that where it's all exciting and they're excited and they idolize you and you know everything's going to be great everything's going to be wonderful and then you fall for that and then everything goes back to you know not a good situation just returns and then the cycle wash rinse repeat why is my camera so blue everything it's like we're in the water here uh, and you know it's funny so as you're looking through the screen it's it looks all blue to you right but to me everything is like lavender and yellow <laughs> So I don't know what's going on. I have to figure out how to get my colors right here. Anyway. Yep. Oh, they're going to come in and romance you, Virgo. Well, that's going to be their attempt here. They're going to pull out all the stops. And I just feel like, Virgo, if you're not communicating with this person, uh, some of you might have to communicate because there might be, might be like work connection. Maybe there's family involved. Um, and if that's your situation, I'd endeavor to say, um, just stay on your own as much as you can and not engage with them unless you absolutely have to. But if you have no connection with this person what's, whatsoever that, that you need to stay other than having an emotional attachment, if that's out of the picture, whatever they do isn't going to work because it looks like you're already gone. It looks like you're already gone and you don't want to be back with this person because it's just going to be the same old thing. 
And I, like I said, now maybe there's some of you who want the bloody stump. You want this person to really prove it. But I, listen, I'm all for giving someone maybe like a second chance, right? But I, I'm not feeling that here. I don't feel like this person deserves any more chances with you, Virgo. And I hope that you can see that within yourself. Not everybody deserves, you know, to get that lucky. And if this person realizes, which they do know how lucky that they are to have you, because nobody else really, <laughs> listen, what's that saying? If you love someone, set them free. If they come back, nobody else wanted them. I'm telling you right now, that's what, that's what the deal is. Nobody really wants this person because anyone who gets in contact with them can feel the fake. They can feel the fake. And as long as you stay on your own, your glow up happens, you begin to become completely stable or restabilized. And you start taking care of yourself. This Nine of Pentacles, this is you. And this is total self-care, luxury, self-sufficiency, financial gain, solo, solo pleasures, living your best life. Your life will improve. What else do you have? Yeah, play hard to get, Virgo. And, and what that means is be hard to get. To the fact, because listen, and I hate to say this, but if some of you want this person back, if the only way they're going to come back, like, is if you let them. That's just it, because they're always going to try, okay? To c actually come back into your life, you have to leave a crack open, a door open, or somehow put it out there that you're still available to them. So if you want them back, that's how you have to do that. That's a risk you take. You're on your own with that. But I don't feel like you should take anybody willy-nilly back into your life who expects you to kneel before them and do as they say or behave. Some people, you know, like I feel like, I don't want to say some people, but I feel like this person might actually just expect you to stay where you are so they can do whatever they want to do. They don't want you to keep leaving. They don't want you to get away from them. Just just stay where you are, Virgo. That's their thing. I put you on that shelf, Virgo. Stay on that shelf. And I'll go outside and do all the things that I like to do. And you're, you're not going to be included in any of that. And then when I come back and I'm ready to pull you down off that shelf, you need to be there for me to do that. That's this person's message for you. That's how they view it. Yeah, that's a past life thing. Some of you already got this relationship in the bag, like you're already done. Okay, and they know that this relationship could have stood the test of time because of your stability. See, you might feel like, no, you weren't stable in this relationship with this person. You might feel that way. But if you weren't, because I, I don't typically know of any Virgos that are that unstable if you feel like you weren't it's probably because this person caused you to feel that way and I don't I'm not saying made you but they gave you cause to feel or to be unstable in the relationship due to their I don't know they're giving me the word hijinks due to their their chaos chaos chaotic chaos so the question like you got to ask yourself was are you or is are you a stable person i feel like you are your integrity this is the thing does this situation align with your values and morals you have a decision if you haven't blocked or gotten away from this person you really need to make a decision this month because i personally think you can do a hell of a lot better you really can you might have been that Virgo that was pretty confident prior to meeting this person or getting involved with them. You might have been in a good place, taking care of whatever you need to take care of, I'm sure. And then they came along and then, you know, played with your heart or made a fool of themselves or acted in a particular way to make you feel like you were beneath them. They did that on purpose. 
All right, so let's see. I, I just want to ask what's going to happen to this person. What are they going to do after they walk away? Like, because if you're not accepting them back there, at some point they're going to stop. Okay. They're going to stop. Take a breather. Oh, maybe I'll try next time. They're always going to keep trying, Virgo. Okay, so there you go. Five of Pentacles. Broke, busted, and disgusted. Yearning for you. Left out in the cold. Suffering. Struggling. Nothing is going to, I'm going to tell you, Virgo, change with this person. So, unless, and I feel like I got to say this. Unless they go into some very serious therapy, serious, and you have to hold them accountable for that, you got to hold them to it, and you got to see that they're doing it, and go in with like, um, I want to say like a, a rational mind, because not every person that goes in for therapy that has this bad behavior gets well. They just wind up manipulating the therapist, which therapists will know generally. But you, you're going to have to see someone that really, or at least either go with them or at least have tell them that that's what they have to do. And if they don't do it, then no chance. Um, and it's got to be someone that knows about whatever's going on with them. Okay. They, they're not going to let you go. I'm telling you right now. So... Virgo, even if you're in another relationship or you marry somebody else or you just move on with your life, expect you're going to hear from them. Um, they'll reach out in like nine years because <laughs> you're the one that got away and they're always going to regret that they're not. So it's not regret that they let you go because they're going to blame you. You're the one that dumped them. It's, it's never going to be because of anything or their lack of or their, you know, breadcrumbing you or whatever that might have happened. It's it's always going to be they're going to regret that they weren't strong enough to manipulate you to staying. That's what they're going to regret. It's not going to be that they took advantage of you or that they... They didn't treat you well because in their mind they can't do anything wrong it's all your fault jeez okay this is a lesson some kind of lesson happening here virgo yep they're all they're always going to regret that you didn't stay on the roller coaster with them see they're always going to regret that they weren't evil to control you um, yeah, anyway, right, Virgo? Anyway, next, let me get a couple more messages here for you. What else does Virgo need to know? And if you tell them no this time, or you hang up the phone, like you slam it down in their face, or you just don't respond, uh, they're going to be struggling. They're going to be hurting. So I don't know what the deal is with this person, but I can honestly tell you, um, you're going to make out a thousand times better than you think letting this person go and flipping the script on them and calling the shots now you're not you this relationship feels like a dictatorship not a relationship where two people are relating to one another and making something work this feels more like a dictatorship where this person dictating to you how you're going to behave who you're going to talk to who you're going to go out with and if you don't give them all the reassurance that they need 24 seven and chase them and kiss their ass, then they're going to give you the silent treatment or they're going to go talk to other people or keep talking to other people because of their it's extreme insecurity. Never get involved with anyone who's extremely insecure because they will just bring you down. I don't care how secure of a base you have. Look, you have transformation, a significant life experience that requires changes to be made. Powerful and often unexpected revelations, breaking free of procrastination, releasing old belief systems. That's a death card right there. 
That's transformation and change, Virgo. That's the end of suffering. <clears throat> the end of stagnation. The end of feeling stuck. This is moving on, rebirthing, and transforming yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. And then <laughs> giving the breadcrumb back to them with the Page of Pentacles. It, giving it right back to them. Eye for an eye. It's a shame it has to be that way, but you know what, Virgo? you got to protect yourself. They might even be angry at you and think you're intentionally trying to hurt them by blocking or walking away or not answering calls or refusing to see them. When that's not the case, that's protecting your peace. Time to get to work, Virgo, on your life. An excellent opportunity presents itself. And this is the opportunity to start living your life and to be happy. Happy news about your career and promotions are coming toward you. Maybe even a scholarship, a new area of study. Learning, learning, learning. All you can. And look, there you go. Learning all you can about a subject or even a career. Getting involved in your hobbies. This is very therapeutic. I know for Virgos especially. Going back to school, maybe taking a seminar, finding a mentor, attention to detail, skilled work that you love, effort. That's the eight of pentacles. This is putting in the effort and the drive into your life going forward. This is good news. You're going to free up so much time being on your own and learning the things that you need to learn. A lot of the pentacle energy here has to do with business too and your finances and your career and money. <laughs> the good you do, look, you're getting all this pentacle energy. So these are straight up messages for you. The good you do comes back to you. You may not be in the best of shape starting on this new journey for yourself. Um, maybe you're suffering from some kind of disability or you've accrued, accrued, uh, acquired an illness from this relationship, but it's okay, okay? Because you will recover and you will heal. An unexpected flow of abundance. You'll be able to share your wealth, your knowledge with others who are less fortunate, maybe helping others who are going through the same thing. Okay, <laughs> and you have the Six of Cups. Revisiting old dreams or plans, embracing your inner child, the return of people or romances from your past. I told you this person is going to return. And romanticizing how things used to be. That's definitely, like, listen, if you're healing from a relationship, I don't care what kind of relationship it is, everybody goes through that. There's periods of that. So... Don't think that you're crazy if you are kind of rethinking about this person. Don't beat yourself up if you happen to actually talk to them again. Just keep pressing forward. If you're in a relationship with someone that there's a cycle of A, B, U, S, E, generally the common uh, consensus really is that it's like six to seven times before you finally break free from that particular relationship so I don't know how many times you've been out of the fire but you know maybe this is the third time who knows but don't beat yourself up about that okay because it happens it's not an excuse to keep doing it I mean you can learn from other people's mistakes you don't have to make them yourself so you can be wise all right, let's get into the charms. All right, a connection with a Gemini, Cancer, Sagittarius, or Le Libra. I thought I was going to say Leo. Libra. All right, we've got September 6th. Let's see. August 25, 25th, 1968. Someone's 56. Someone's 50. September 9th, 1975, 1988, August 31st, September 14th, someone's 32, August 24th, someone's 47, someone's 44, September 7th, AJ, 
62. Someone's birthday is in July. Someone's birthday is in November. All right, July was a significant month of this year that something pretty powerful happened, pretty transformative. November is also going to be another significant month. And I can say that too in a global, <laughs> in a global way too because of the elections coming up. Um, somebody's putting some jam or jelly, eating jam or jelly. And I'm also hearing jaws. Maybe you're getting your jaw fixed. Maybe you watched Jaws, the movie. I'm hearing bail. What's up, Scott? Um, Botox or uh, somebody's opening a box or is getting Botox. Somebody's born in the year of the ox. I'm not pulling the Chinese signs. Uh, someone's an AC. Someone used to work for RCA. <laughs> RCA. Okay. All right, Leia. I'm hearing the name Leia. Bo. Someone's in Colorado. Someone's in California. We have Rhode Island. We have Baton Rouge. Someone's in Georgia. Okay. Let me see if there's any other names that we have. Karen. I'm hearing Karen. Gabby. Gabrielle. Okay, Wal Walton or Wallace or where's Waldo? <laughs> now I'm hearing Abby, Abigail. Okay, I heard Yo Jo <sighs> Johan. Am I hearing that right? Or John? Johan or John? Someone's last name is Gibbs. Okay, someone lives in British Columbia. Somebody takes gabapentin. <clears throat> uh, somebody just got their car waxed or is waxing their car. Okay, let's get your sharps. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. All right, you can't get it. All right, someone's born in the year of the horse. But we do have a horse here. Now, some of you are like running away. This is very powerful, this horse. This is speed. Speed, power, direction, movement. Uh, maybe somebody's riding horses or it, it rides horses or has a horse ranch. Let me see if you can see that. See the horsey? There you go. Yeah, connection to a horse or horses, wild horses. Oh, there's that song. I feel like that's coming. Do you hear my son telling my grandson to flush? <laughs> wild horses couldn't drag me away. Watch out, Virgo. This person is definitely going to be returning. Yep, because here's the song. There's the musical notes, Virgo. The musical notes. That song. Now, maybe, you don't, I don't know, maybe somebody likes that song. I don't know. But the lyrics, I feel like that's that's your per, that's your person. Or, or wild horses couldn't drag you away from them. Okay? Um, yeah. I don't know. Let's get another charm here. Oh, my God. You know what? It just keeps... <laughs> now you've got the octopus tentacles they want to get their tentacles on you I, I don't so if i'm not at all i don't feel danger okay i want to tell you that if you feel that then you need to pay attention to your intuition i do not feel that in this reading okay but if you feel that don't listen to me listen to yourself okay I'm not picking that up here. It doesn't mean that that's not happening for you. And if you're in a situation with someone where there's a danger, then you got to just kick off the reading and just, you know, make the moves that you need to make. Okay. 
we do have this octopus so there is i mean somebody could just be eating octopus i had that once i think i almost gagged i, I can't i can't do those delicacy type foods i try i just can't I'm, ne I'm never gonna do it like i am 100 percent. i will eat anything i am so open with food unless it just like makes like a candy bananas because i'm allergic which is the fuck but this i tried this no no i don't like those little tentacles sticking to my tongue it's disgusting um okay so some type of yeah there's there's something here about maybe eating octopus maybe that's delicacy where you live or you just maybe you're that person that likes that you know go have fun but I like I, the message I was getting is I feel like this person, their they want their tentacles they reach far and wide. Hold, they're not gonna let you go, no matter how fast you run. Okay, no matter how fast or how hard or how far you run away from them, even if you don't talk to this person for twenty years, that that song wild horses is always going to be their song for you and i mean the lyrics that's just that's all for that message that just came like right in like that so hopefully you guys got something out of this and get something out of it i hope you make good decisions for yourself and you're happy and you're doing well for yourself, Virgo. I know this isn't going to resonate for everyone, but if it does resonate for you and you want to get a personal reading with me because of this reading in particular, click on the link in the description box below and you will be able to get the reading. We could talk about this, okay? Um, otherwise, thank you for joining the channel. Thank you for becoming a member. I will have your members only VIP video up tomorrow. Have a great night, you all, and I'll thank you. Um, I will see you guys. Yeah, I just can't great. let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us Ooh.